How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today will be a full day of eating on my off day. We had training yesterday, we have a day off today, and then we have training tomorrow. I did a quick light jog and stretch this morning, so I'm sort of counting it as like a no workout day. Basically, I'll do some yoga this afternoon just for some mobility, but it's going to be a full day of eating for my off day. So enjoy, it's gonna be lots of protein, good uh, carbs, and good healthy fats. All right, here we go. guys so what you just saw me absolutely devour which I was very hungry I did a little run this morning uh, didn't eat much after training last night just because I wasn't hungry um, but this morning was some ham or Canadian bacon type stuff handful of spinach four eggs scrambled up together with some sriracha sauce and then I had a handful of blueberry about a cup of blueberries a banana chopped up and some almond butter and almond milk so because I am dairy and gluten free I can't get a lot of the healthy fats from yogurt which I would love to eat um, and there's not a lot of good probiotic yogurt either here down in Australia at least. So back in the US I can do that, but I actually use almond butter as a substitute for the healthy fat. So, and I'm getting probiotic from a pill. So I'm kind of making do with what I have, which is the most important thing. Um, and it's a great meal for the first meal of the day because it's high protein, good healthy fats, and some carbs from the fruit. So feeling really good. I am going to get some work done and I will see you guys at lunch. Alright guys, so you join me in my kitchen again for lunch. I'm going to have some ground beef, some lean ground beef. I think it's about 90 or 95% fat free. And then it's sauteed mushrooms and onions and some spinach. And then I might throw in uh, some berries or another banana just to get some more fruit in me. Um, tonight will be more chicken. I probably will stay pretty low carb because it is my day off. I'm really trying to get as much protein in as possible because that way it helps the muscles regen and get back to where they should be for tomorrow's training. We actually ran the yo-yo test yesterday, so my legs are pretty throttled, my lower back's pretty stiff, so I'm trying to get as much protein as possible so I can recover well. So that's for lunch. Um, again, this is super simple. I would show you how to cook this like I did this morning, but first of all, it's in a Tupperware. Second of all, it's literally just ground beef, some spices, and that's it. You kind of, it kind of just cooks itself. And then the sauteed onions and mushrooms are pretty easy to do. You just chop them up, throw them on like medium, medium high. Um, but if you do have any questions about how to make these meals and how much I'm putting in this, feel free to drop a comment below or DM me on Instagram um, at Noah Cavanaugh official. That's an easy way to get a hold of me. I know some of you guys have reached out already, which has been fantastic. I've really enjoyed talking to everybody. Um, and yeah, so feel free to reach out. I'll answer all the questions you have about uh, nutrition and stuff and the way that I that works for my body. Um, again, days off tend to be much more protein heavy and then that ratio kind of goes down and I up the carbs a lot on training days just to give me some more long-term sustained energy. So that's the way that goes. I'm gonna dig into this right now and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so the other thing I want to address today is hydration. Now, hydration obviously happens every day, so it's not something that necessarily fluctuates like my diet does during off days and training days. So for hydration, I'm usually consuming anywhere between three and four and a half liters of liquid. So that's about a gallon and change-ish of water and or electrolyte solution, usually a very low sugar electrolyte solution. It's actually a company that I've used down in Australia. I've got a connection down here. So that's been awesome. Um, and it doesn't give me a buzz because there's no caffeine, there's no extra added sugar. So it's all it is is electrolytes, which I think is fantastic. So if you can get 
get your hands on some of that or some coconut water, definitely do that. Um, but make sure you're drinking both on training days and on off days. It's super important, almost more important than the food you're eating um, because it helps your body get hydrated. Hey, how's it going guys? It is about 6.30 in the evening. My last meal of the day is going to be some chicken and broccoli. It's just a big chicken breast and some sauteed broccoli. I might have some noodles as well. I made some pad thai noodles, just rice noodles with a little bit of peanut sauce in them. So I might actually have that as well for a little carb loading for tomorrow's training session in the morning. Really excited for that. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's kind of a full day of eating on my off day. It's not a ton of food, but it is a lot of protein. Um, make sure that you guys kind of experiment. It's really important. I've done this over the course of the last several years in my professional career where I experiment with foods before training, see what works and what doesn't and I found that kind of really clean eating, gluten-free, dairy-free uh, has been the best for my stomach and my muscles. I feel the best afterwards and for performing. So that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys on Monday, and as always, be awesome. Take care.